July 2, 1908. The Tunguska region of Siberia. The weather was normal. At 7.17 a.m. a strange light appeared in the sky. The local people said they saw a bright fireball moving silently. It was as if something not of this world was gliding through the sky. Then, everything happened in an instant. The sky exploded like a giant bomb. The shockwave that formed in seconds was felt hundreds of kilometers away. The sound of the explosion was so loud that windows shattered in some villages. People fell to the ground. Animals fled in panic. And then, silence. But the real disaster was seen at the site of the event. An area of approximately 2,150 square kilometers had been leveled. 80 million trees had been flattened. It was as if a giant hand had flattened the forest. But the strangest thing. There was no crater. If a meteor had fallen, there should have been a huge hole, pieces of rock, metal debris. But there was nothing there. Only scorched earth and ash. Scientists researched for years. Some said it was an asteroid explosion. Some defended the comet theory. But some details couldn't be explained. The trees in the area looked almost identical to the images after the nuclear explosion in Hiroshima. In fact, the shockwave pattern looked more like an airburst. In the 1950s, a theory emerged. This could be a UFO that hit Earth. Because almost no material traces, no metal fragments were found. Only microscopic glass particles. Surfaces melted by extreme heat. And a sequence of events that still remains unsolved. Even today, Scientists don't fully understand what caused the Tunguska explosion. But one thing is certain. If this explosion had occurred over a city, hundreds of thousands of people would have been wiped out in seconds. And the question still hangs in the air. Was this just a natural event? Or did something destroyed itself before? Hitting Earth?